Hello, good evening, Carla. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm pretty good, thanks. What about you? Thanks, teacher. It's my day off. It's your day off. Did you do anything interesting today? Laundry and eat. <laughs> what did you eat? Um, buffalo wing. Okay, so you say I ate buffalo wings. Uh, I ate uh, buffalo wings and um, fr fried chips. Fried chips? Potato chips. Or potato. Not chips. No, oh. potato chips. Mm. No French fries. No, 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 no French fries. Potato chips. No, they're delicious. Did you prefer yeah. the buffalo wings or you ordered? Uh, um, si las ordené. Uh -huh. uh, yes. yes. You uh, delivery. It's delivery, yes. Yeah. Okay. Was it a free delivery or you paid extra for the delivery? No, it's free. It's free. It's Free. Ah, nice, nice, nice. So you just did the laundry and ate buffalo wings. <laughs> yes. That's all? That's all. And the uh, watch TV, Netflix. What did you watch? Valhalla Murder. Oh, is that a movie or a series? A, a series. Is serious. Ah, okay. But tomorrow you're going to work. Yes. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow work. Okay. Do you uh, are you still working in the centros de contención? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Is it in San Salvador? No, son sonate. In San Sanate. San Sanate City. Okay, is there a lot of people there? Um, 51. 51. 51? Ah, it's not, not many people. Yes. Fortunately, it's a few people. Um, uh, every day, uh, todos los días, no sé cómo se dice. Yes, every day. Every day, uh, temperature. Ah, okay. Uh, every day you check temperature. Uh, temperature, uh, vital, vital things. Okay, so you have to check the people every day. Yes. Every day. Okay, but they are not receiving more people. No. No. That's good. It's, on, it's only fifth, 51. Okay, that's good. Because they are not receiving more people and I suppose that all of them are healthy. No entendí lo último dicho, perdón. Supongo que todos están saludables. <laughs> um, yes, more or less. <laughs> okay, but remember, always take care of yourself. Yes, teacher, thank you. Because this is a very, very dangerous situation for you. Yes, um, uh, ya supo que hay una muerte, ¿verdad? Ya escuché ahora que una persona fallecida yes, en el hospital Saldaña ya yeah, es, 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 es triste porque dicen que la señora ni siquiera tenía ninguna enfermedad adicional algo. no ese no teacher es el, el que ha fallecido ahora sí es por coronavirus ahora ah, por la tarde sí, escuché que era una señora no, eh, la señora falleció el día de ayer y era eh, diabética. 
O sea, que son pero dos. El paciente... Sí, pero la señora, ella no tenía coronavirus. El paciente que falleció ahora era un paciente que ayer lo declararon en estado crítico y ahora falleció. Es Ajá. paciente, sí falleció por coronavirus. Y es más, pero no estaba muy, ¿qué edad tenía? Parece que es el paciente de 62 años, parece, ah. pero no han dado mayor detalle. Ajá, es que yo escuché de una señora. Pero esa señora, a ella la llevaron de un centro de contención al hospital Saldaña para hacerle las pruebas, pero la señora no falleció porque estaba negativo. Ella falleció por una eh, cetoacidosis diabética. Mm. Es una complicación de la diabetes. Qué triste. Qué sí. triste porque ahora se muera, bueno, si se muere por esa enfermedad dicen que va directo al cementerio. El señor que falleció ahora de coronavirus, ya dijo el ministro que no va a ser velado, lo van a poner en una caja especial y va directo para el cementerio sin contacto con los familiares. Triste, igual los que se mueren de otras causas creo que solo les están dando dos horas de velación y sí. dos familiares, los más cercanos. Así es. Qué triste. Bueno, Dios quiera que salgamos luego de esta situación. Ojalá, teacher. Pero con esos 300 dólares, lo dudo. Y que no a todo el mundo. O sea, sí, porque pero... de, de los que yo conozco, no he oído a nadie que me diga yo salí beneficiado. Sí, bien pocas las personas, pero el problema es las aconglomeraciones que ha... Sí, que ha... porque... Ajá, están diciendo que sí ha habido orden, otros dicen que no, que la gente sigue no. aglomerada en los bancos. Sí, sí, teacher. Ahora fui a ver a mi abuelita y pasamos por donde están los bancos y eran 20 cuadras de personas haciendo fila. Y no guardaban la distancia. No guardaban la distancia y hay personas que no parece que lo necesiten, sinceramente. Sí, así dicen que hay gente que no, uh -huh. y dicen sí. que hay gente que con negocios, que dos de la misma familia y que ni siquiera... Así es, así sí. es. Ni modo, sí. tremendo. Bueno, aquí están ya Froilan y Adonai, ya podemos conversar con ellos porque está aquí nomás con cara. <risa> y ustedes que viendo noticias están... <risa> La novela. La Betty en Nueva York. Betty en New York. No, ok. Mejor que no vea noticias. Mucho se estresa uno y se aflige, ¿verdad? Mejor ver Betty la fea en New York. Ok. Well, uh, yesterday we were talking about the simple path of the verb to be. Do you remember what is the simple path of the verb to be? Yes, was, was. and were. Okay, was and were. Okay, so we have this conversation. This is on the platform, so you can check there anytime you want. The conversation is... Um, um, in a hair salon, as you can see, this is the hairstylist. This lady is getting her hair cut. And the topic is, I was born in South Korea. I was born in oh. South Korea. So we're going to listen to the conversation. And then we're going to practice our pronunciation. I'll try to make it bigger. Yes, it's possible to make it bigger. Yes. Okay, there you have. Let's listen and then you tell me if you find new vocabulary. So the vocabulary is very simple. But... Page 100, exercise two, conversation. I was born in South Korea. Listen and practice. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 2005. 
Hmm, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. I hope so. I was born here. Do you have any question about the conversation vocabulary? Right, right away? Right away, right away. it's like uh -huh. immediately. Se es similar a inmediatamente. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And born? Born. Born is nacer. Cuando uh, I was born in South Korea, lo podríamos interpretar a nuestro idioma como yo nací en tal parte. Cuando hablamos de donde usted nació, se usa siempre el verbo to be en pasado. Was and were, y el verbo born es el nacer. Ok, thanks. Ok, any other eh, question? El, el nomás... Uh, Un poquito de aclaración. Eh, cuando dice very good, no. ¿Cuál es la diferencia de decir very good? Uh, very good pretty. es como decir muy bien. Y pretty, cuando dice pretty good, es bastante bien. Uh -huh. Ah, es bastante bien. Bastante, ajá. Nosotros asociamos el pretty con bonito, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Pero en este sí, caso es pretty, eh, significa, es como uh, para dar realce a algún adjetivo. En este caso el adjetivo es good, para decir bastante bien, es pretty good. Um, si es, uh, estoy bastante aburrido, pretty boring. Bastante cansado, bastante cansado, pretty tired. Uh -huh. Entonces sería como bastante, bastante. Así. Bastante, ya, yeah, bastante bien. Pretty good, bastante bien. Mm -hmm. Any Pretty other good. question? Yes, any other question? Only that. Okay, so we can uh, listen one more time. I'm going to pause the conversation so you can repeat. Page 100, Exercise 2, Conversation. I was born in South Korea. Listen and practice. Where were you born, Melissa? Now repeat. Where were you born, were Melissa? You born, Melissa? Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. Oh, so oh, you were so born, you born, born in the US. U.S. No, I came here in 2005. No, I came, no, I came, I came here, here in, in 2005. Hmm, you were pretty young. Uh. Mm -hmm. you, you were pretty, pretty, young. pretty young. Ahí ve, dice pretty young, bastante joven. Ajá, uh, ah, tú eras, uh, estabas bastante joven. You were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Yeah, I was only 17. 17. Did you go to college right away? Did you, Did you go, go to college, college right, right away? away? Uh -huh. Did you go to college right away? Did, Did you, you go, go to college, college right, right, right away? away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. No, no, my no, English my wasn't English very, was good. very good. So I took English class for two years, years first. Excellent. Well, your English is really good now. Well, well your English, English is really good, good now. now. 
Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Thanks. I hope so. I was born here. I hope so. I was born here. I was born here. Okay, nice. Uh, I hope so, teacher. Eso espero. I eso espero. Uh -huh. I, hope so. I hope so. I was born here. Eso espero. Yo nací acá. I was born here. Yo nací aquí. I hope so. Que usted siga para el otro nivel. Okay. We, we hope so. Sería we hope so. Uh, ajá. Usted me dice. Ajá. So we hope. We hope. Ajá. We hope. That you continue. Sí, Ahí le quitamos el so. Ahí le quitamos el so. Ajá. I hope. I hope es yo espero de tener esperanza. I hope that you continue studying the next module. Yo espero que usted continúe <laughs> estudiando el próximo module. I hope that you continue studying the next module. Ajá. I hope. I hope that you continue, that you continue the next module. Class. Okay, <laughs> I hope to see you the next module too, if we survive. <laughs> ah, no, that's okay. Esperemos estar bien y estar en el próximo módulo. Okay, uh, so next thing that we're going to do is to practice a little bit more the, the simple past. Vamos a tratar de practicar un poquito más este tema. Aquí hemos estado practicando con uh, una conversación, practicamos pronunciación. Ahora, para hacer un resumen, esto, uh, remember, el pasado del verbo to be decíamos es was and where. Aquí tenemos un poco más de práctica con este uh, amor. Porque después va un pequeño examen. A ver si de verdad. <laughs> Okay, I remember um, the verb being past simple is was and were. So with the subject I, we use was. For example, I can say I was busy. Estaba ocupada. Estaba ocupado. I was busy. You were busy. He, she, and it was busy, right? Uh, we were busy. They were busy. So it's was and were. Remember, was lo utilizamos con I, he, she, it, were. Lo vamos a utilizar con you, we, they. Ahora, para hacer oraciones negativas, dijimos solo vamos a agregar not después de was or were. Por ejemplo, I wasn't busy. Yo no estaba ocupado, yo no estaba ocupada. Wasn't. Okay, esa es en forma corta, para I was not busy, I wasn't busy. Esa es la forma corta. Esto igual se los voy a hacer llegar por en su WhatsApp. Okay, y luego para hacer yes, no questions, vamos a, a invertir el orden. Si se fijan acá, dice en oración, cuando yo estoy afirmando, yo le digo, tú estabas ocupado, ocupada. You were busy. Pero si yo le quiero preguntar, ¿estabas ocupado? ¿Estabas ocupada? Entonces no digo you were, sino que were you. Cambiamos el orden para hacer la pregunta. Were you busy? ¿Estabas ocupado? ¿Estabas ocupada? Were you busy? So, was I? Were you? Was he? Was she? Was it? Were they? Uh, were we? Y siempre en la respuesta decíamos que vamos a siempre responder usando was o were. Y si es negativo, al final lo vamos a ocupar negativo. Por ejemplo, si le preguntara, were you busy? Were you busy? ¿Estabas ocupado? Y la respuesta es afirmativa, vamos a decir, yes, I was. Sí, yo estaba ocupado, ocupada. Yes, I was. Y si es negativo, vamos a decir no, I, was. I wasn't, or no, I was not. Yeah, that's a, 
forma corta. Questions here? Hay preguntas? No preguntas? Ok. So, let us practice. Okay, in number one, were you at home yesterday? Yes, I was. Number two, Freiland? They were really happy after they won the football game. Good. Number three, Carla? My sister were a college student last year. Okay, my sister was a college student. Good. Number four, Liliana? Thomas was on the train at 3.30 yesterday afternoon. Good. Victor, continue with number five. I was... Number five. Um, what well, Jennifer tired after after the she finished work? Uh huh. And the answer no, she no, she work. Uh. No, she was. <laughs> uh huh. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. No, she I don't wasn't. know. Number six. Adonai, number six. Roland, number six. Car broke down, so I was late for my, for my appointment. 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 So I was late for my appointment. Uh huh. You know the word appointment? Appointment. ¿Qué es un appointment? Una cita. Una cita. Uh -huh. Appointment. Pero appointment es una cita, digamos una cita de, 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 para una entrevista, para, un, para ir al doctor. Porque la cita romántica, eso es date. That's the difference. Nice work. Now, uh, Carla, can you continue? With were, were Laura and Susan surprised? No, they weren't. weren't. Aha, good job. Number eight, Liliana. The cookies were delicious, so I ate three of them. Very nice. Number nine, um, who's, uh, Victor, number nine. Were you at the library yesterday? Yesterday? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Yesterday. Excellent. No, I Number wasn't. 10, Carla. M many dinosaurs were really how huge. Okay, huge. huge. Enormous. Huge. Uh -huh. Number 11, Liliana. I was born in nineteen ninety nine. Ninety six. When were you born? When were you born? Excellent. Freyland number twelve. No veo. Oh, perdón. Voy a bajar un poco. Me está tapando. Ah, hoy sí. What number, teacher? Number twelve. Number twelve. The movie we saw last night. The movie was very funny. Yes, excellent. Was very funny. Uh, 13, Carla. I was a wire last year, but I changed my job in September. Okay, nice work. Uh, Karen, hello, Karen. Number 14. My favorite program was on TV at eight o'clock last night. Excellent, only here, favorite. Favorite. Excellent. Number 15, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> My class, Mayre, 
Classmates were. Classmates were in class. They were outside. Ajá, entonces sería negativo acá, ¿verdad? Porque dice que ellos estaban afuera. My classmates weren't. Weren't. Ajá, in in class. Class. They were outside. Okay. Good job. Excellent. Now I think that you're ready for the quiz. Si tomáramos un quiz. Ajá. Veamos. Eh, vamos a ver. Ay, compartir, aquí está. Si es que era la misma hoja, ¿dónde está? Ok. Uh, 16 questions. Sí, ver. B, simple, past, quiz. Ok. Let's see. Si hiciéramos un quiz, vamos a ver este, cómo nos va. Complete the sentences below. Vamos a completar. Solo van a escribir número uno y la respuesta acá donde están estos tres puntitos sería A, B o C. Vamos a ver. Number one. There are more than 40 people at the meeting. Letter A, where? Letter B, was? And letter C, wasn't. ¿Cuál será la respuesta correcta para acá? Where. Ajá, A, la letra A. Where, ajá, there were more than 40 people. People at the meeting. Ajá, and so you write number one, A. Ahí escriben en su cuadernito, número uno, la respuesta correcta es A. Number one, A, solo uno y el literal, A. One, A. Number two. En number two hay una pregunta y una respuesta y van a dar ustedes si es A, B o C. Number three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Y luego vamos nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and sixteen. Lo voy a ir bajando porque no lo puedo poner el documento completo porque lo van a ver muy pequeño. Entonces lo voy a ir bajando. Al, el uno ya lo hicimos, vamos number two y así. Vamos a ir avanzando. Si voy muy rápido, me dicen.
Has everybody finished number eight? Yeah, 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 finish. Okay, let's see number nine. Boom. Finished? Has everybody finished? Everybody finished? Okay, we're going to check your answers. Vamos a chequear las respuestas. Okay, there you're going to check your answers. Question number one. There were more than 40 people at the meeting. Question number two. Where was How old were you last year? I was 20 years old. Question number three. 
wash, wash. Where was Tom last night? He was at home. Question number four. The bus was late, so Alex and Sam were also late for class this morning. Question number five. Washing, washing, washing. Were you sick last week? No, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Question number six. Wash. Was Maria here an hour ago? Yes, she was. Mm -hmm. Question number seven. Wash. I'm a teacher now, but I was a student in 2015. Question number eight. Wash. Ha. Ah. Eight. Ah. We had a great time at the party. It was lots of fun. Question number nine. Where? My friend and I were at the library yesterday afternoon. Question number ten. Where? Where did you go on the weekend? Why weren't you at home? Question number 11. Wash. Wash. Kathy is a police officer now, but she was a pilot last year. Question number 12. Where wash? Where were you born? I was born in Peru. Question number 13. Wash. That movie wash. That movie was really funny. I laughed all night. Question number 14. Where? I thought the cookies were delicious, so I ate six of them. Question number 15. There was nothing I could do, so I asked for help. Question number 16. Where? 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 Our science teacher said that some dinosaurs were huge. Okay, so let's see. Okay, how many good answers did you get? How many correct answers? ¿Cuántas respuestas buenas? All correct. All correct. Excellent. Todas estuvieron todas buenas. Yo fallé en la 2 y en la 5, teacher. En la 2 y en la 5. 14. 14. Okay, en la 2 y en la 5, ¿qué pasó ahí? Ajá, sí, es difícil, pero sí ya vio, um, aquí veamos, aquí están, aún es muy bueno, es casi un 9, 8.8, excelente. Ajá, 9.4 si tuvieron 15 buenas. 15, okay, 9.4. 9.4, that's excellent. Okay. Okay, so I see that most of you did an excellent job. So uh, what is next in the platform? Let's see. 
So we continue practicing this topic because um, we still have some pages to cover. Um, here it is. So this is basically the grammar that we have been studying. As you can see, we have the past of B in this grammar chart. And um, let's listen here. Page 101, exercise three, grammar focus, past of B. I was born here. I wasn't born in the UK. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were at the hair salon. We weren't at the cafe. They were born in Chile. They weren't born in Peru. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. Were you in class yesterday? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your first teacher American? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were your parents born in the U.S.? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Okay, so basically this is what we have been studying. Es lo que hemos estado practicando. Como decíamos en oraciones afirmativas, was, were. Si vamos a hacer negativas, vamos a hacerlo con wasn't or weren't. Para yes, no questions, vamos a ubicar primero was or were dependiendo del sujeto y también lo vamos a incluir en las respuestas. Ok, so we have a short paragraph here. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo en un párrafo pequeño. Vamos a cerrar aquí. Quiero ver si lo puedo ver. Ok. No. Ok, aquí lo pueden ver completo el párrafo. En este se sigue practicando el to be en pasado, was or were. Es hablando en pasado, right? Vamos a ver. It says, my family and I, and we have two, the two options, was or were. In this case, it's were, porque estamos hablando de mi familia y yo. Entonces me incluye a mí, nos, se convierte en un nosotros. Por eso escogimos were. Mm -hmm. My family and I were all born in South Korea. We weren't. We weren't born in the U.S. Uh -huh. That's the correct answer. We weren't born in the U.S. I... Was born, born in the city of Inch. Okay, I was born in the city of Inch. And my brother was born there too. Uh -huh. My parents weren't. Weren't. weren't because it's plural. My parents weren't. Born in Asia. They were, they were born, they were born, born in, the, in the capital. So, yes, they were born in the capital, Seoul. In South Korea, my father was a businessman. Uh -huh. My father was a businessman. Mm -hmm. My father was a businessman and my mother was a teacher. A teacher. Was a teacher. Uh -huh. So for tomorrow, le va a quedar tarea para mañana. So para mañana tienen que hacer un párrafo similar a este, pero acerca de ustedes mismos. Donde nacieron ustedes, donde nacieron sus padres, sus hermanos, sus hermanas. 
Y si no me ven a salir con que son, um, ya no tienen familia, que son adoptados, <risa> no, tienen tarea, la tienen que hacer, tienen tiempo. <laughs> so for tomorrow, my family and I were born all in El Salvador. We weren't born in Guatemala, for example. My uh, brothers and I were born in Mexicanos. My parents weren't born there. They were born in San Miguel, something like that, okay? Algo así parecido. Is that okay? O lo hacen ahorita. Tres minutos. <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, for tomorrow. Ahí les van a tener este como ejemplo. Y para mañana, pues, esperaría yo que hagan su tarea. Okay. So, let us continue. We have to look at the picture. Vamos a ver esto, qué está pasando aquí. Okay. We're gonna look at the picture and we're gonna answer the questions. Look at you, what's happening here. This is Adam. This is Mrs. Carter. This is Cindy. And this is Mark. Look at the picture, analyze all the picture. What's going on here? Now, let's practice by asking and answering the questions. First question, number one, Carla, was Adam on time for class yesterday? No. He he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Excellent. Ask the question number two to another classmate, Carla. Froilan. Was it English class? No. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Excellent. Continue, Froilan. Number three. Number three. Was it a sunny day? Uh, Victor, Karen, Lillian. Victor, Victor, was it a sunny day? No. I... <laughs> No, I was. Como estamos no, hablando it. de un día, vamos a usar it. No, it, it, it was. Uh, no, it, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay, ask the no, question number four to another classmate. What is 10 o'clock? Was it 10 o'clock? ¿A quién? ¿A Liliana? <laughs> ¿Was it no, 10 Liliana. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Continue with number five, Liliana. Was Mr. Carter very angry? Was Mrs. Mrs. Carter very angry? ¿A quién? Entonces ya estuvo Karen. Ya, vamos por el segundo round. Uh, sí. Yes. Segunda vuelta. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes, she was. She was. Yes, she was. What? Okay. Yes, she okay. was. Excellent. Number six. Ask the question, Karen. Were Cindy and Mark like the class? Uh, mm, no sé quiénes están. A ver. Adonai. Adonai dice que no tiene audio, solo oh. nos está escuchando, pero no puede hablar. Eh, vi Vicente, Vicente. Ok, Vicente. 
No, Víctor. Víctor, perdón. <laughs> yes. That's the question, Karen. Where is Cindy and Mark like to class? Late. Late class. Late, Late class. to class. Yes. No, no, ahí están sentados. No, ellos estaban no. a tiempo. Ahí están sentados. No. Just to... They weren't. Ajá, entonces uh, sería. No. They weren't. No, they no, they, weren't. no, they weren't. No, they weren't. Ahora, Víctor, pregúntele a Carla, la que sigue. Seven. Seven. Were they at the board, Carla? Yes, they, they were. Ajá, la pregunta es si estaban ellos en la, al frente o por la pizarra. Yes, they, they were. Okay, ask the number eight. Pregúntele Adonai. a Adonai. Adonai no puede participar, Ado dice. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> ah, no tiene audio. Froilan, were, were the windows open? No, it wasn't. Ah, ahí, como la palabra ah, no, windows. ventanas, ¿verdad? Ventanas. Ajá. Entonces, no, they weren't. Ajá, excellent. <laughs> sí, <laughs> porque como está en plural, windows, yeah. ahí contestamos con weren. Si fuera una, window, entonces sí sería was. No, they weren't. Ah. No, they weren't. Excellent. Very nice practice. Okay, so this is it for today. Esto es lo que teníamos para ahora. Okay, so mañana vamos a continuar con un poco más, soltando un poco más, speaking con este tema. Lo han hecho excelente el día de ahora y bueno, en todo el módulo han sido excelentes estudiantes. Y bueno, la mayoría están aquí todavía, que eran poquitos, pero bueno, al menos está terminando la mayoría. <laughs> And that's excellent. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, complete the platform. Yo yeah. ya vi que unos por ahí ya mandaron el certificado, que ya lo imprimieron, si ya pudieron hacer eso es porque tenían más del 80% con una nota mayor a 8, entonces me alegra mucho. Porque veo que están uh, mandando ya mensajes que mucha gente no la tiene completa todavía. Espero que no seamos este grupo. Y si no, pues bueno, pongámonos al día con los ejercicios y cualquier pregunta estamos a la orden. Gracias. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, yes. So, thank see you, you tomorrow. Sleep well. Sleep well, try to relax, read something interesting. Read an interesting book. Quiero leer El Principito. Leamos. <laughs> <laughs> no lo he leído. Okay, so let's do something interesting for tomorrow. And remember the homework. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. so yes. see you tomorrow. Take care. Stay at home and wash your hands. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night.